flooring this morning. The company's name is Magnetic Building Solutions. With us, Scott Humphrey, the CEO of the World Floor Covering Association, WFCA, and Michael Bennett, the VP of Sales and Marketing for Magnetic Building Solutions. Gentlemen, it's great to have you with us. Thank you, Dave. Good to be with you. Thank you, Dave. Now, just so we're on the same page, and I know we talked about this over the last couple of years, two or three times, but let's just start from square one. Um, talk about Magnetic Building Solutions, the product, and how it works. Sure. Well, first, let me tell you how we got involved. About two and a half years ago, when we acquired the key assets of CFI, Certified Flooring Installers, we met a gentleman who came to me and said, I've invented something that's going to change the industry. And as I've told you before, my initial response was, why does every wacko find me? Um, he went on to say it would help with installation. And quite frankly, the WFCA's involvement was because of the installation crisis. We brought CFI in-house to show the industry we were serious about addressing that. And when I heard somebody say that they had a solution that would help it, uh, I was suddenly interested and wanted to see it. Uh, when we saw it, I immediately knew we needed to be involved in more than a way of simply giving critique of who your manufacturer should be, but we need to be a partial owner of this so that we could control the distribution and really fall within the line of what WFCA is all about. You know, we exist to ensure the success and profitability of professional flooring dealers. And we began to realize this technology was all that, but it could have a negative impact on the industry if somebody that didn't have a heart for the industry were not controlling it. And so it's, it's a simple, simple product. And on the floor, it's a three foot wide roll of flexible magnet. Magnet down, a receptive or iron in the back of the product. Uh, either can be applied during the manufacturing process on products that have a quasi soft backing like LVT, uh, carpet tile. On other products, we simply press a receptive layer to the end of it through a marriage roller at the end of the manufacturing process. And that gives you the adherence. It's very important though, Dave, the uniqueness of our product is the magnetic is down, either on the floor or on the wall. And then the receptive is in the back of the product. There are other systems out there that use magnetism. They're reversed of that. In other words, you have the magnet on the back of the product, which means every time you replace product, you're having to replace the most expensive component. On ours, that, that component goes down one time. It's a one-time investment. And after that, every install is substantially less expensive. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but especially on the floor, because the magnet is a permanent magnet. By every international standards, it loses about 1% of its magnetism every 100 years. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to worry about replacing that. So once it's done right with your subfloor the first time, every subsequent install is not only less expensive, but less time consuming as well. I see. Now, basically, we're talking wall floors. That's correct. The patent we just received about three weeks ago, we finally got the patent number. We got a notice of allowance back at the end of November. Uh, that patent covers this technology for utilization on the wall and the floor. There are multiple other patents in process right now that cover things like ceilings, exteriors of homes, uh, billboards, swimming pool liners, anywhere in the field of construction where you adhere a receptive layer to a magnetic base. So then you'll be working on those as you go forward, just starting. Further utilizations. We're just thankful it came to us first so we could focus on it being a, a vital part of addressing the installation issue in the flooring industry right now. Now you said every wacko kind of finds you, but as I recall, I had talked to some of the people that were, that were behind this at surfaces last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, and they've got a pretty healthy track record. Oh, they do. In fact, our partner, I mean, I knew nothing about this guy when I first met him and I was thinking, oh my gosh, here's another person just trying to sell me on something because we're the World Floor Covering Association. But the other half owners of the patent actually have hundreds of patents out there. A guy by the name of Lloyd Lausenheiser and Lloyd is a, a kind of a patent genius. In fact, that's one reason that when other people question whether we could get the patent on this, we never really questioned that because we were confident based on his track record. If you look up Lloyd's name and you Google that today, the first thing you'll see is hundreds of patents will appear. Those that are, have already run their 20 year course and those that are still active. Things like hydraulic lifts, um, a walker for people that are, have a problem with mobility that allows you to go over rough terrain and the walker actually will reverse itself and become a chair that you can sit in while if you need a, a rest all across the board and Lloyd has surrounded himself with other people that invent and when he sees an invention his criteria Dave is when he sees an invention that will change an industry he gets involved he looked at the flooring industry uh, he and the gentleman who is also the inventor of this and realized we were in need of something that 
crossed all the boundaries. So if you look at, at innovation in the flooring industry, when I was in the field as a sales rep for Shaw 29, 30 years ago, Stainmaster was coming out. That was a big innovation because before that we had soil, uh, generation four, generation five was stain resistance. And then you had a lot of minor innovations and then you got to soft nylon. But all those only impacted carpet. No other category. Yeah. In LVT, you went from LVT to LVP to WPC to SPC to rigid core, all within resilient. There wasn't an invention that had crossed all the boundaries of different product categories until this. And this is a product that no matter what product you put on top of it, the base stays the same. And we, we are the underlayment that allows you to change product out quickly. If you want to carpet down in the winter and you want to put wood down in the summer, very quickly you can pull that carpet tile up, put wood down, and then back in the winter you can replace it and put it back again. It gives you that innovation that you never had the opportunity before because of the flexibility of the platform. Dave, before we go any further, I probably should introduce Michael Bennett because he's sitting here and they're probably wondering what in the world is he doing there? I said something about him. You did, but they don't know his background. So I'd love to let them know who Michael is. And Michael, I'll just let you introduce yourself. We've known each other for years. He was a vendor partner to me when I was at the Shaw Floyd Network. He was the CEO of Amram North America. And uh, I always knew if I got in a situation where I could partner with Michael and he could be a, an employer, work together with me, that I wanted to see that happen. So, Michael, I'll let you fill him in on who you are. Thank you, Scott. And uh, good morning again, Dave. It's, uh, it's a great place to be. It's an exciting time to be at MBS. This magnetic platform is, without a doubt, the most exciting thing I've ever done. And I can prove that. Color tile was my first entrance into the flooring industry. That was not really exciting, Scott. <laughs> it, it just wasn't. Uh, didn't end well, and uh, this will, of course. But uh, I've been at every level uh, in the flooring industry, from uh, retail to distribution to manufacturing. Even had a uh, six-year stint as a retailer my, myself. So I've been exposed to most of what uh, your audience has been exposed to. Uh, but I enjoy the flooring industry. So I'm 30 plus years in the industry today. And, uh, and hope to have a few more. Uh, and with an attractive product like uh, MBS offers, I, I think that's going to be uh, easy to do. 